The flywheel is nothing new. It's been used before to power steamboats and old windmills. But this is no ordinary flywheel. This one is designed for a bigger purpose, according to Beacon Power, based in Massachusetts. Well, our flywheel technology, this is the Gen 4 flywheel. This is the result of 10 years of R&D uh, by some of the brightest minds in, in flywheel technology in the world. Company spokesman Gene Hunt says Beacon Power invested more than $200 million and 10 years in research and development to get to this point. They've taken the basic concept of a spinning disc and turned it into 200 pounds of carbon fiber. That piece is then sealed in a vacuum tank and suspended by powerful magnets. Inside, it spins faster than the top speed of a fighter jet. Well, that's two times the speed of sound. We took a tour of the company's factory in Massachusetts, where they're building these new flywheels they say will make New York's energy grid work better. All of these overseeing bodies are starting to see that flywheel energy storage has a place on the grid and can provide the stability that we need. That's why the Department of Energy and NYSERDA, the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority, have recently given Beacon Power $45 million. The company is also throwing $24 million into the pot to build a flywheel energy storage plant in Steventown, New York. We've been spending a lot of time and energy in investing in energy storage technologies. NYSERDA CEO Frank Murray says New York is very aggressive in its energy research. He says the flywheel system has a lot of promise. He says there's a lot of wasted energy on the grid. The flywheels use that wasted energy to spin, storing it in kinetic form, and it releases that energy when the grid needs it most. Our flywheel systems are more like a hybrid car for the grid. If you think of a hybrid car, it uses a combination of combustion engine and rechargeable batteries. And every time you slow down with the brakes, it charges up the batteries. And then when it needs the power to accelerate, it pours it back into the car and gets the wheels moving. If that works, and we think it has a great promise of, of panning out, so to speak, that's the type of technology that you need uh, to capitalize upon this differential between when the wind blows and when we need the demand for the electricity. In other words, the flywheel will store energy when the wind blows and release it in the electricity gap when the wind doesn't blow. It will help intermittent energy sources like wind and solar work better. When the Steventown plant is ready in spring of 2011, it will be the first of its kind in the world and perhaps the beginning of a new way to store commercial electricity. The company also plans to build another plant in New York's capital region and a third one somewhere in the middle of the country. However, right now, Beacon Power is operating at a loss. The stock price was hovering around 34 cents a share as of the date of this story. The competition is fierce, with other companies developing high-tech battery storage systems. There is no guarantee, even with a lot of promise, that flywheel storage will take off. We shouldn't be afraid of failure. I mean, failure, the whole nature of the research process is you fail, you learn. Uh, I'm up, but I, you know, I don't think this project's going to fail. Assemblyman Kevin Cahill, the chair of the Energy Committee, says even if something goes wrong, the state is being careful not to invest in technology that can't be modified later. We're investing in, in non-obsolescence. We're investing in flexibility for the future, and that's the kind of thing that's going to allow us to stay ahead of the game. Flywheel technology will allow us to store that electricity and use it when we need it. It will actually make that electricity far more valuable and at the same time reducing the peak price of electricity. All that while adding more fuel to the green movement. We think that of the new technologies that are available to replace fossil fuel plants, flywheel energy storage is the highest performing and the most responsive to support renewable energy.